Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of Cooking with Val. Today we're going to cook something extra special. We have this beautiful baby alligator, at least I assume it's a baby, uh, that we got from Exotic Meat Market. And, uh, and we're going to cook this up. Now, it'd be a shame just to put this all in one dish. So there's enough meat here that I think we're going to do several things. And I think we're going to try to make it pretty interesting. So what I want to do is uh, I'm going to take the head. It looks like it's already started to, to be severed there. I'm going to take the head and uh, the rear limbs. And, um, and I'm going to try to make an alligator head cheese. And the reason I want to make a head cheese is because it's the collagen that holds head cheese together. And the collagen from an alligator has uh, healing properties, so I want to use that. Um, also, the blood has healing properties, but we don't have any blood, so no alligator blood sausage today. So we're going to make head cheese with the head and the four limbs. Um, I'm going to cut the tail off and I'm going to cook down the meat on this tail. There's a lot of luscious meat here, really nice meat here. And the body itself has been gutted and cleaned out. And uh, since it, there's a hollow area right there, I'm going to stuff that. I'm going to wrap this in banana leaves. I'm going to cook it in the oven and uh, we'll add some spices, some rice, some uh, pieces of meat from the alligator's tail and stuff that inside it. And I think we're gonna come up with something, uh, something quite wonderful. So we're gonna have an alligator feast uh, based on this one reptile. First, I'm going to brine it, let it sit overnight, and then we're gonna get into actually uh, cooking this thing. So, um, so we might as well get cracking. Yeah, everything's cooked down, and so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take everything out, wait till it cools down, and when it does, we're going to pull the meat off of that. Now, uh, here's the meat that I pulled off the head and the uh, limbs, and now we just have the uh, the pulled meat. So we're going to start assembling our head cheese. I actually paid attention in class when Chef Sunny Vora made us alpaca head cheese. I'll link that episode at the end. So uh, I'm going to line my terrine or pan or whatever you want to call it with um, plastic wrap. On the bottom, which is going to be the top, I'm going to put some chopped cilantro. I've got some walnuts. I have uh, onion. I have uh, some lemongrass. And I also have some apple. And I thought apple would be nice because I just thought apple would be nice. So uh, I'm gonna put that in, and I'm gonna put some black pepper on there too, and just a little bit of the broth. And then I'm gonna start actually putting in my meat. Put a little bit of onion in there, some lemongrass, some apple. And this is probably not traditional. I think most head cheese, most uh, pork head cheese, isn't really gonna have anything else in it except um, spices and pork itself. I'm gonna sprinkle some more cilantro in there just for fun. More onions. And I'm gonna finish the bottom with walnuts. I don't know. I just did whatever came to mind. And now I'm going to pour the, the broth on top. And we'll put this in the refrigerator overnight. And hopefully that will uh, solidify into a nice gelatin that uh, We'll just cut it into little slices, put it on some uh, crostini, little pieces of bread. I think this is gonna be really nice. Now keep in mind that this is the, uh, the bottom. And this is where our walnuts are. And the top is where our cilantro is. Oh my God. That is a thing of beauty. That is. That's firm to the touch. Oh my God, that's so nice. And we're gonna slice that. We'll put on some crostini. That's gonna be really nice. So let's hope, uh, let's hope it tastes good. But, uh, but I think we were successful in, uh, 
in making our first head cheese. Really nice. All right, so my rice is done, and now I'm gonna put what I'm gonna put in the rice, and remember, this is all going inside the alligator. So I have some uh, red and yellow bell pepper that I chopped up fine. Uh, I use that for the sweetness. I have a little bit of cilantro, some onion, and some baby bells that I chopped up. Uh, I, I put that in there for the earthiness. Uh, we're probably gonna get that from the alligator anyways, but I just wanted to kind of emphasize that. Um, and that'll blend really well with the brown and wild rice. So, um, so I'm gonna put that in. So. Uh, let me break off some pieces here. So after I have this mixture done, I'm uh, basically gonna mix that with the rice and then stuff it into the alligator. I have my uh, rice and meat stuffing that I made. Uh, we're gonna put that in the cavity. We're going to uh, tie that up and then we're going to wrap the whole thing in banana leaves. But before I put it in banana leaves, I'm gonna paint it with a little bit of this which I created, which is coconut milk with some curry powder, black pepper, dash of fish sauce, a little bit of tamarind vinegar, uh, and some uh, dried chilies. And um, uh, just on the slight side, we want to give it a little bit of a zest, but uh, we don't want it to be uh, fiery or anything. So we're gonna go ahead and stuff this. I think that's gonna do it. All right, there we go. Okay, so here we are now. This is the this is the taste test. This is to see if this is how this came up. Because again, I've never made this before. This is the first time, um, so I don't know how it's going to taste. But I'm tasting it with other people so that you can see my reaction along with theirs. So I'm joined by Mardell Antolin and David Vaughn, and they're going to help me eat this now. To start off, have either of you had alligator before? I've had alligator nuggets. They were breaded. Deep fried. It was like chewy chicken nuggets. Did they put a sauce on it? No. Hopefully this isn't going to be as chewy. This is a smaller alligator and so the meat cooked down a lot better. And, I, and, and from what I taste tested it was a little bit tender. What about you? Have you had alligator? I have never had, had alligator. And then here is... Woo! Doesn't that look interesting? Okay, so uh, what do you guys want to start with? The head cheese? Let's do it. Head cheese. Let's okay. do it. All right, so we're gonna just like slice off a piece of that. Well, that kind of falls apart because the alligator's chewier. I was hoping that would cut cleaner, but it doesn't. This is gourmet spam <laughs> right here. Did you really make this? I really made this. We have video to prove it. So, so here's the here's the drawback, and, and maybe I just don't have a sharp enough knife. Uh, but the drawback is once you cut into this, because uh, the meat has a little bit of give, it kind of falls apart. And for head cheese, you really want it to have a nice clean slice. So I don't have a laser to cut this with, so uh, we'll just have to do it like this. So are you guys ready? Cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. What? The bread. <laughs> <laughs> I did bake the bread, so <laughs> the strawberry. bread is amazing. You're under no obligation to finish. Okay. It's really good. There's a few little hard pieces that I can't quite tell if it's gelatinous things or, or if it's um, 
I don't know the that meat. the I don't know that the gelatin would be that hard. It may be like pieces of the meat. This is what it tastes like to me. I might have one. Like you a bone? made a turkey and all those turkey juices and fat was refrigerated and then you're eating that like jelly fat turkey juice. But that's exactly what this is. So basically you, you cook down the, the head and because the bone and the skin has all the collagen in it, the collagen is what causes, what, what creates that gelatin. And when you make a head cheese, you pour the gelatin in with pieces of meat, and then it, it's all kind of solidified by that gelatin. I thought maybe what you got was walnut. There's walnuts on the bottom. Oh, there are walnuts on the bottom? It's yeah. very possible. Yeah, it's probably, well... I've yeah. got, got a bit of bone in this one, but the, the first piece, I think, okay. was a walnut. Yeah. So, thumbs up or thumbs down on the... We'll start with that, Della. Thumbs up or thumbs down? I'll say thumbs down. Okay, so it was the, it was mostly the texture that the, that it was the kinda, jelly part that kind of bugged you. Yeah. David, uh, I'd say a thumbs up for the meat. Yeah, I'd, I'd pick out the meat pieces and start eating on them, no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, the Joel Evans thing again for me was not that good. <laughs> okay, and from my own personal standpoint, um, I think I came pretty close to doing uh, the alligator version of of head cheese. So for me, it kind of worked. Uh, the meat is flavorful. It's not like gamey or swampy or anything like that. No. So for me, that works. So I think I'm going to give that one a thumbs up. You're going to give it a thumbs down or in the middle or up or up. I'll give it a thumbs up. All right. And you have a thumbs down, right? Yeah. So now let's do this. And uh, essentially, this is the torso of the alligator. And it's stuffed with rice that also has um, alligator meat in it and uh, some different spices. So let's try this. I want to cut some meat off. And this was cooked in coconut milk uh, with some curry and um, just a few spices. I didn't want to go crazy with it. Um, so there may be some bones in here. You might have to work on that a little bit. You might have to work, work through the bone. Okay. Let's see. Okay. And then uh, I'll give you some rice as well. So you prepare the inside, the filling first, and then you stuff it and then you bake it? Or? Yeah. That piece is a little bit fatty, but I'll take that. Some people don't like that fatty taste. And then I'll let you scoop your own rice. And just scoop some rice with your fork. Okay. It has kind of a nutty flavor on it. Just makes it a little bit more interesting. Yeah, and again, the rice had little pieces of the alligator meat in it. So when you smell that, like, you don't really smell the banana leaf, right? I don't. It smells uh, <laughs> normal. And I apologize, it's a little cold. This is better when it's hot. I, I think the good. meat soaked up the smell and flavor of the... The banana leaf? Yeah. yeah. So you tried the meat? Yes. What do you think? I honestly think the flavor of the meat's probably so mild that it just soaks up flavors of whatever you cook it with because I just taste the banana leaves. It tastes tropical. Uh, earthy. <laughs> earthy and, and it's not bad. David, okay, what do you think? I think it's pretty good. Um, kind of tastes, it has, a, has a hint of um, some type of fish. Well, I will tell you that, uh, that also in what I uh, cooked it in, uh, in addition to the coconut milk and curry, I also put like a, a dash of fish sauce. Maybe that's what it could be. Oh, it could be. It could be. So, uh, so uh, thumbs up on the meat? Yeah. yeah thumbs up on the meat. Up. All right. I agree. Uh, let's try the rice. In the meat that I put in the alligator, in, in the stuffing, I'm sorry, in, in the stuffing, um, there was some alligator fat in there. And um, and I can really taste that. The, the, the fat itself has some flavor, but you always have, almost have that that feeling of the fat on your tongue, but often, but not even so much a taste, but the texture of, of the fat. Yes. You can actually feel that on your tongue. Can yeah. you feel oh, that? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so on the rice. Mm -hmm. I would say it's very earthy tasting again. Mm -hmm. And if 
fine with that, so thumbs up. Thumbs up? Okay, David? Um, yeah, I'd say that it's uh, very well prepared, but um, the, the fat for me is just a little it's kind of off-putting. It's kind of a little bit much, yeah. yeah. Um, so, so I think for me, thumbs down, but thumbs up for the prep. So we're going to say thumbs in the middle. Middle thumbs. Middle thumbs. All right, for, the, for, the, for this particular dish. And, and uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to go along with what you said. I, I think if this dish was hot, like right out of the oven, um, I think that fat wouldn't be as much on your tongue as it is when it, because this is a little bit colder. I tried to heat it up, but I didn't heat it up well enough, I think. Yes. I think it would be yes. a lot, I think it would be um, better if that was hot and that, that fat wasn't just kind of... It feels like I want to put it in the microwave and heat this dish up. Yeah. <laughs> so in general, <laughs> you think we were successful here? I think so. Okay. Did you enjoy your first, your first uh, taste of alligator? It was, yeah. And in your case, your second taste. Okay, there we have it. So, so alligator meat, um, you've seen how I prepared it. That's in the video. Uh, if you want to prepare this at home, I would uh, go ahead and recommend it. Uh, give it a shot. Uh, if not, I, don't go to a restaurant and just get a piece of fried alligator. You're not, you're not going to taste anything. But, uh, but definitely give this a shot. It's probably worth a try. Maybe you have a different recipe. Let us know. Leave some, something in the notes and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.